Hello viewers, welcome back. Today we continue with permanent magnet motors. And this time I prepared the Leonard Cerniak permanent magnet motor. This image over there. It looks really amazing and it's a really a different design from other motors. But I think it's based because it citation it was cited in the Harry Warrington magnetic motor. My last design on my channel. You can check it. So not to waste time, let's get back to the drawings and see how this is supposed to work. Alright viewers, so let me turn this a little bit around that you see uh, this, uh, let's say, very interesting design of magnetic motor. So let me start from the beginning and try to describe each component one by one. So, to, to simplify the process, so this is our standard generator which will produce our free energy through the main shaft. So I will hide it, not to be on our way. So, isolate, hide the object. Okay, now we are left only with the generator. So let me turn it around and, and try to describe uh, the main, main parts. All right, so I will also hide uh, this housing, housing part so that we are very easily see what's inside, what is actually inside of this uh, assembly, magnetic motor assembly. So you can see the same as in Sam Warrington magnetic motor, this motor uses horseshoe magnets as the drive magnets of the motor. So, so that is, so if I turn it this way, you can see that there are horseshoe magnets from this side and this side. Yeah? And, and let me now try to describe uh, what is the, how, why this setup is exactly done in this way. Okay, you can see that these two magnets are actually mounted on the housing and this, these are the these are the stator magnets. So these two and of course these two on the other side. They are mounted on the housing and they are fixed. Yeah? So they are not moving. Then you can see that we have this gear mechanism here, here, here and here including the middle over here which transfer the, the motion into the circular way in the other axis. And basically on these two shafts are there are two magnet assemblies. You can see that the uh, magnets are facing like poles to the stator magnets. So it's clear. So state uh, like poles are facing each other. So that means that these two magnets should repel each other. And the, the task to do is how to avoid opposing magnetic field that this is actually possible. Yeah? So that's always a task in the magnetic motor. And um, for this purpose, you can see this yellow part. Yeah, so this this will be our again rotors, but these rotors are actually magnetic shielding. Yeah, and also with uh, on the top on on each side there are coils, so they are basically electromagnets. Yeah, so we can nullify or let's say make an uh, opposite magnet opposite magnetic field with just uh, turning the current in other direction yeah so that's the that's the purpose yeah and that's it and then of course this is uh, transferred to the mine shaft via gear mechanism a 90 degrees the gear mechanism and also there are three types of this assembly yeah, there is a middle one yeah which is only separated by the this uh, let's say magnetic shielding and there is the third one on the housing which which is uh, connected or which repels from the stator magnets on the housing over there. And that's it. Uh, by the mister, uh, so uh, Cerniak, uh, he made this design. I think the idea was, and the citation was, that it's it's used a similar system like the Sam uh, Harry Warrington magnetic motor. But basically, it's a very, very interesting design. Yeah. And let me unhide, unhide. So this should be all assembled into the housing in this way and connected to a standard electrical generator which will transfer our energy out of the system to be used for commercial purpose. And this is it. Okay viewers, so that was Leonard Cerniak permanent magnet motor. Rather unusual design, but he uses the gear mechanism which will help defeat or which will not help in the system any, anyway, but it's always a correct position. So that is why the gear mechanism is very useful because you can count on the same position of the system in each moment. Yeah, You cannot disbalance the, the system. 
And generally these horseshoe magnets should repel from the stator magnets as you saw in the in the animation and um, yeah and of course last component is that uh, this magnetic shielding which is uh, designed through electromagnets and through let's say shifting or disabling the magnets which which will uh, enable that this system can spin so this is basically it for for this video until next video please stay tuned on my channel bye bye